In this video, we will show you how to submit routine locate requests. After logging in and while looking at the main menu, select Submit a Locate Request. This will bring you to the iTIC User Information and Excavator Information sections. Be sure your name and contact info are in the iTIC User Information section. Confirm all excavator information and make any necessary changes before clicking Next Step. This will take you to steps 1 and 2. First, step 1. On-site contact information. Enter the name and telephone number of another person who is familiar with the job. Preferably someone who will be on-site during the excavation. In the type of work field, enter the purpose of the excavation. You can use the keyword auto search function here. For instance, entering a word like fence will generate a list of potential matches. In the Work Being Done For field, enter the name of the person, company, or organization you will be doing the work for. For duration, enter the amount of time you expect the excavation to take. The next two questions refer to your method of excavation. Select Y for Yes or N for No. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will take you to Step 3, Location Information. Using the drop-down menus, select the county and city or place the work is being done in. While accessing the drop-down menu, you can type the first letter of the county you are looking for to skip ahead. This works for the City Place drop-down field as well. In the address field, enter the number of the address where the work is taking place. If there is no address, leave this field blank. If the worksite has multiple addresses, leave this field blank and reference the address numbers in the location of work field. In the street field, enter the name of the dig street. You can use the keyword auto search function here as well. In the intersecting street field, Enter the name of the road that intersects the dig street closest to where the work will take place. Please keep in mind this will not necessarily be a major road. In location of work, enter a complete description of your entire excavation area. Be as detailed as possible. Be sure to describe your entire excavation area and not just where you believe lines may be buried. Next is Step 4, the Map It section. In this section, you will need to select an area on the map that will encompass your entire worksite. The iTIC computer thinks it has found a match for the address that I have entered. This potential match is represented by a place mark in the center of the map. There are several tools in the Map It section that can help ensure you are mapping in the correct area. Selecting the Identify tool will allow you to click on certain map features to find out more information about them. This information will be displayed at the bottom of the map section after the word highlight. Some areas will display lot information if you are zoomed in close enough. Once you have found the correct location, you will need to draw a polygon on the map to completely encompass your excavation area. To do this, first select the draw tool located just above the identify tool. Then draw your polygon by clicking on the map where you would like to begin. Continue to draw until your entire work area is encompassed. In order to ensure the entire excavation area is safely encompassed, it is usually best to map on both sides of the dig street and both sides of the cross street. To close out your polygon, simply click on the same point where you began. You may also cycle through different map views to be sure you have mapped in the correct area. The Google Map is based on information from the Google Maps database. 
The satellite map will display overhead satellite imagery. You will need to have the OCC map selected in order to approve your polygon. Once you are sure your entire worksite has been encompassed, move to step 5, start date information. The start date and time will automatically default to the earliest available time, based on when you are filing your ticket. If you will begin your work at a later date or time, you can adjust the start date and time by using the calendar buttons and the drop-down menus. Keep in mind though that if you do select a later date and or time, you are agreeing to postpone your work until that point. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will bring you to the Utility Notification List. This is a complete list of the utilities that will be notified by Lone Star 811 as a result of your ticket. Lone Star 811 will also send a copy of your ticket to Texas 811, who will in turn notify their own member utilities. For more information regarding Texas 811, please visit www.texas811.org. At this point, clicking Next Step will submit your locate request to the call center for review. You will also be presented with a ticket number. Please keep in mind that your locate request will still need to be reviewed by the call center. You will receive an email when your ticket has been released to the utility companies. You may now view the ticket you have just submitted, start a new ticket, or click Finished to return to the main menu.